you know, both places were madness. Yeah. But you, the madness was different at both places. Yeah. What about the night? Lou remembers this. I get down there and Lou says to me, Joey, we got a call. There's some people. They're going to come hurt you. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that fizz or that shit? And I was like, no worries. And I took all the, <laughs> I took all the balls off the pool table. I put them in my pockets and I put them in strategic places around La Jolla. I got a big kitchen knife from the redhead and I planted it upside down in the plant outside. I was going to cut these motherfuckers. I took all the pool sticks and I took them out so in case they came in, there was pool sticks. I only knew where they were so I could hit them. I set this shit up like fucking Rambo. You understand? Me? Like, like, right, like right now, my house is so booby trapped. I upgraded the alarm oh, and there's yeah. certain things that you're going to go for because I'm a thief. So I know the, uh, so I walked around my house with the fucking uh, uh, alarm guy and he learned an hour. Like he was like, <laughs> I need to hang out more with you. Yeah. I go, this vent here, I want a camera on there and a fucking sensor on there. Why? Because I would go through these all the time. This is easy. This is easy. And if you got a kilo of Coke, I'll get a sledgehammer and sledge, do little sledges like this for fucking two hours from underneath. <laughs> so I know how to. So I, I prepped this La Jolla comedy store up like I was going to war. Gee. I took a couple knives and I put them around in case I had to throw them. I mean, I was out of my mind. Is I this was, why they don't have a pool table anymore at La Jolla? They, it wasn't a pool table. It was a bumper pool table. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is why they don't have I was going to say, I don't remember a pool Joey table. Joey never anymore. returned the balls. I had those balls everywhere, and I had a hooded sweatshirt, and I had a ball in each pocket. Oh, Jesus. I was fucking going big that night, because there was like three or four of them. It was him, another, and now we're dear friends. <laughs> now me and oh, Fizz are great. dear friends. He's, I don't know if he's still doing comedy. He, he's, it, uh, the other guy disappeared, who was really brilliant. The other kid was going to be a really good comic. He had the mind of a great comic. I don't know what happened to him, drugs, abuse, something happened to him. They were nice kids. They got mad at me because I told them not to touch the microphone yeah. at the comedy store. I go, don't touch it because the wire is going to break. Sure enough, the guy goes up there and takes it like a gorilla. The wire breaks. Now we got to do a 20-minute interval yeah, right. during a fucking three-minute show for open micers. Really? Because you didn't want to be a polite open fucking micer. We told you not to touch the fucking microphone. Well, then he went outside and... Started getting loud with me. We pushed each other. Then he started threatening me and calling me. And I get to La Jolla one night, and everybody's like, listen, bro, he's coming by. I go, I got this handle. <laughs> Man. I, I don't know who was featuring for me. I don't remember who the fuck it was. And I'm sitting outside in between shows, and I heard them. They were in the car. I'm sitting in a little booth across from the Chinese sushi restaurant. Right, right. I don't know what's there now. Uh, another Chinese sushi okay, restaurant. Okay, because the last time I went, I went to the Brazilian jiu-jitsu school next door. Oh, yeah, right, right. Radija. Yeah, that he's, is, he's great. That actually, guy. that is still... He's great. Yeah, he's a really great... Really he still great. emails me. He's a great man. Yeah. Uh, in La Jolla, I forget what it was, Radin or something like that right now. He's a great teacher. He showed me sign control. He was great. So I'm sitting out there. I'm waiting for these jerk-offs. I look up, Vicky, and I see them making the, le the left on to... La Jolla, you know, in front of La Jolla. And I step up behind the plant. I got the knife in case I got to throw it. They had water pistols. <laughs> they showed up to a fucking gangster's house with water pistols. So as they were going to pull the water pistols out, I took the fucking white ball and I just flung it at their car. And it sounded like a bomb went off. It went boom. They had like a Kia. It almost tipped it over. They had like one of those cheap Japanese cars that almost tipped it over. Total day. And they flew off within 20 minutes. Fucking Tommy was calling me. The cops just called me. What's going on? I go, they can't show it the fuck with me. And this is what happens. Never again did they bother me. Just that noise. They thought a bomb had gone off. They took off. They burned rubber after that.